All right, the big news is coming in from the world of uh, cricket is pertaining to the IPL media rights. And even though the format that we're talking about is T20 cricket, but the way it's playing out, the way the IPL auction is playing out, it seems like it is a test match. Hectic bidding is happening for the two days that we've seen at the IPL action. Four major players that were part of the bidding process. But now what we can tell you, there are two clear players that have emerged. And for the very first time in the history of the IPL broadcast, we will have two different broadcasters. One for television, one for digital. It will go on to day three and then we'll get the real numbers but the big numbers that are pertaining to the Indian subcontinent that's television and digital those are the numbers that we'll be telling you on the show joining me on the program would be Harish Thawani a sports broadcaster also the founder of Nimbus communication they held the Indian rights for many many years nobody knows about the sport broadcasting landscape as better as Mr. Thawani who joins us now we'll also be joined by Sunny Gavaskar not only as a former cricketer but remember he was also the BCCI chief at the time that the IPL was happening and has been part of the IPL ever since it started as a very important member of that IPL governing council. I'll try and uh, get to them a little later. We'll try and break down the numbers for you as well. But Mr. Thawani, let me come to you firstly. The figures that we're looking at, it's, it's close to 45,000 crore uh, for the five years, still counting, could go uh, well above that as well. On first look, do you think that's tenable? Do you, did you imagine that the numbers would touch here? And if they have, are they tenable? Do you see a return of investment in these kind of numbers that are being invested in? I think this question was addressed to me, but there's so much echo on the line from your studios that I, I, I didn't actually quite catch the question. So can you come again? to you and I wanted to know just on first look, just looking at these numbers, we're touching close to 45,000 crore for five years. Do you think that's tenable? Did you expect it to go this far? Sorry to but butt in, but your voice is constantly echoing, so I can't catch, catch the question. I know someone's talking, but... Okay, I'll try and get back to you. We'll try and fix that line, Mr. Thawani. But just to let our viewers know as well, let me just break down some numbers for you and then we'll have the package up on your screen as well. What is it that we're talking about? So two uh, basic elements of this, right? Remember, there are four bouquets that you're looking at. The first two, the most important, are television uh, for Indian subcontinent and digital for Indian subcontinent. Now, those are the two most important numbers. Those have been decided. What we're getting to hear from our sources uh, in Mumbai where the bidding is happening that uh, most likely the digital winner is Viacom 18 backed by Reliance uh, at close to 20,500 crores so you'll have the IPL matches on a digital platform that could well be Voot or even on Geo on your mobile phones but for the very first time as I mentioned at the start of the program for the very first time we'll have two broadcasters the other uh, for television there's a bit of confusion over who's got the television right but we can tell you the actual number so the the number is at 23,575 crore. That's how much the television rights have gone to. So if you combine the two, just the digital and television for the Indian subcontinent, you're looking at close to 43 and a half thousand crore. Imagine the last time around it was 16 and a half thousand crore. It's jumped many folds to reach 43 and a half thousand crore for a period of five years. Let me give you some comparison numbers and that will actually put into perspective the numbers that we're talking about. The very first season of the IPL, the value of each IPL match was at 13 and a half crore. 13 and a half crore was the value of one IPL match. By the time the 11th season came about, the value had risen to 55 crore. From 13 and a half to 55 crore in just 10 years. Look at where we are right now. We're closing in on 113 crore, the bare minimum for an IPL game that the BCCI will get from the broadcasters combined digital and TV. 113 crores in a period of 15 years. You started with 13.6 crore first year, you are at 113 crore. That's how much the IPL has grown, the IPL television rights and digital rights have grown. So that's the first thing to ponder over, just see the exponential growth that the IPL media rights have had. What is the other thing that you notice? The other thing that is very, very clear looking at this, that for the very first time, digital and TV are neck and neck. There's no more the case of TV being the more dominant partner and digital being the future. Uh, it started with a 
ratio of 80 to 10, but now it's almost reached at 50-50. Okay, joining me now is Harish Thawani. I introduced him earlier. I hope, Mr. Thawani, before I throw in the first question, you can hear me. Now, now it's much clearer. Yes, thank you. So okay, apologies. Apologies for the earlier uh, confusion, but you know, live television, these things tend to happen. Okay, my, my first question to you, and, and this is just taking on from where I was, we kept saying for the longest time, I remember, we kept saying that, you know what, digital is the future. Now it's neck and neck. I'm just taking a look at the numbers, and if the non-exclusive numbers also come through, digital will be almost at par with television, maybe a difference of a thousand or two thousand crore. Is it fair to say digital is not the future, digital is the present? Uh, well, I'm, you know, Ravi Shastri fondly calls me Nostradamus, but that's, I think, <laughs> only in terms of <laughs> predicting last ball wins. I'm not Nostradamus when it comes to business. But I did some quick uh, back of the digital envelope calculations on uh, what the incumbent knows. I mean, Star is the incumbent, as yep. the most prominent uh, rumor or informed sources at the moment are telling us that Star has retained the TV rights. So assuming that is, that is true, there is incumbent knowledge. The fact that Star retained the TV rights at a price that implies a, a significant growth on a per match basis uh, from what they paid last time. Last time there was no split between TV and digital, so it's tough to say what they in their minds uh, took as a TV view, but it's definitely 50-70% higher. So they know something that the rest of the bidders might not know as to what yeah. the real value of the TV is. A quick match will tell you that a, a TV, uh, uh, a T20 IPL match, because there's four, four uh, strategic breaks, uh, yeah. tends to yield about three, three, four, three and a half thousand seconds of advertising time. Yeah. Uh, on an assumption of a 10 lakh rupee per 10 second price average for the next five years, which is highly likely because prices were already c crossing 10 lakh rupees, not on an average, but uh, on a... Sorry, let me just kill one call, please. Sure. Uh, that translates to about 34 crores per match in revenues. Mm. Uh, they paid 57.5. That leaves uh, over a five-year period some in subscription numbers to be covered of 9,635 crores, which translates to 1,927 crores per annum. Um, and that's, that's match that's not difficult to figure out. It's a stretch, 1,927 crores. Is, it's a stretch to get yeah. incremental value on subscription on, on IPL. But it's not, it's not difficult to fathom. I spoke to two people in the cable yeah. and, and the satellite TV industry, and they are, I mean, they say, you know, they'll be mugged for more money, but it, at a stretch, so it's a sort of break-even number. Okay. The match on the digital, in some people's mind, including my mind, doesn't seem to add up. And I buy a point that digital is the present, is the future. Uh, too early to call that TV dead, but let's assume that digital will challenge uh, TV for uh, mind space and, and audience time over the next mm -hmm. five years on an equal basis. Present digital ad rates on, on, on the IPL were about 50% that of TV. And yeah. therefore, that gives you about 17 crores a match. And therefore, on the subscriber side, it leaves an uncovered gap of 13,500 crores over five years. That's about 2,700 crores a year. And that, I'm not sure, adds up. Okay. Subscriber numbers in India and on digital have grown. But remember, we come from a wholesale economy. We yeah. all bought cable TV at 100, 200 rupees and bought all 800 channels or 400 channels. Yeah. And the bundling concept on, on digital remains. So, for example, and without taking brand names on, on air, yeah. uh, one prominent telecom carrier gives you about five OTT apps included in the monthly subscription. Yeah. Now, I know that for the leading o OTT app, they're just paying 10 rupees a month, while on an individual basis, if you subscribe to that app, you're paying 149. Okay. So do the match, you know, on 400 million subscribers on via mobile that, you, that are using data packs. Yeah. At 10 rupees, what do you make? I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's 40 crores. Uh, yep. So okay. I'm not sure the digital subscription model has evolved sufficiently to cover. But, you know, uh, again, on the assumption that is Viacom 18 slash Geo, who are the, the, the digital winners, which it appears to be. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the right, right to continue bidding for that was eventually abandoned by Star after a meek attempt this morning. Uh, again, it's incumbent knowledge. The incumbent knows something that the challenger doesn't seem to know, that 
beyond this at this value it's not worth to drop it remember there's a right. flanking strategy this package c and if hotstar was to pick up package c in the bidding which i'm told is now touched 18 crores a match yes a day, yeah and possibly will go up tomorrow morning but you know yeah. that doesn't move the needle 18 into into whatever seven um, 90 matches you can yeah. pay 22 43 25 it doesn't move the big needle and suddenly okay. that package can seriously disrupt the main digital owner. So let's see, it's interesting. There's good strategy at play. I must admire all the players who are successful. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. okay, very interesting, Mr. Thawani. You broke it down very well for us, uh, just looking at each different package. And, and as Mr. Thawani says that TV, it seems like it's a break-even number. You divided it between you know, your ad revenue uh, alongside subscription. But in digital, he doesn't feel that the numbers really add up. What strategy is at play? We'd have to see. But you also talk about the incumbent knowing some sort of inside knowledge. But then you saw the last time around, the incumbent chose not to come to 16 and a half thousand crore, which, uh, you know, Hotstar Disney went for. And, and it proved to be, uh, uh, you know, a good bet for them at the time. But Sony didn't uh, at the time. Mr. Thani, I'll come back to you. Mr. Sunny Gavaskar is also with us. And uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Thani, I couldn't hear you. I'll, I'll try and get that uh, uh, line fixed a bit, but but Saiba, I, I don't expect you to do number crunching as well as uh, you know Mr. Thawani did because that's what he does for for a living. I know that, but I but I get to you. You know now I'm going to talk to you not only in the capacity of being a former player. You were also a former BCCI chief, specifically at the time of while the IPL was on. You were also part of that governing council when the IPL started. My my simple question to you is: I was just showing a few numbers. Thirteen and a half crore is what the first time the broadcaster paid for one match of the IPL season one. It's reached 115 crore. You've been very closely involved with the IPL in all sorts of capacity. Did you ever imagine it will reach these numbers? Uh, first and foremost, uh, let me just say that, you know, uh, it was just an absolute delight to listen to the way Harish uh, uh, yeah. broke down the numbers. Uh, look, I think from my experience, and I'm, I'm sure there are others as well, but, you know, because I've interacted with these three gentlemen, uh, Lalit Modi, Sundar Raman, and uh, uh, Harish Thawani, I've interacted with them at some, you know, somewhere or the other. These three are absolutely unbelievably brilliant minds. As far as you know, breaking down these numbers, getting, you know, they they know the inside out, the bottom top of the TV business like nobody else does. I'm sure there are other TV executives uh, uh, who who are obviously uh, pretty much uh, you know savvy with with these numbers and all that. But because I've interacted with these three. Uh, I have to say that uh, listening to Harish was a great pleasure. And no, I, I never thought it that uh, after the first year when uh, the IPL started that these would be the numbers that they would be reaching after 15 years. This is absolutely terrific, terrific. Uh, and congratulations to everybody concerned. Everybody concerned because it is not just the, the, the rights, etc. You're looking at the quality of the coverage. You're looking at what it's giving to the viewers. And, and because the viewers love it, because, you know, the numbers are, are always have been good. I, I know this year, maybe the numbers might have dropped or they might have been viewer fatigue uh, because, you know, the IPL was, uh, the previous IPL finished just six to eight months ago. So various reasons that they might have been. But this number today, which we have got, is just mind boggling. And I, I just want to congratulate everybody, the BCCI, uh, the TV executives who, who crunched the numbers and have come to this. And make no mistake, I think uh, they'll make sure that... Uh, that the, the viewer, who's the most important person, the viewer will get, you know, um, a big bang for, for his buck. All right. Uh, Mr. Tawani, can you hear me now? Sorry, you were saying something about the incumbent, uh, uh, you know, last time around. I was saying last time you, you said that, you know, so, so only the incumbent uh, had the knowledge and yet yes. sort of lost, opt out. Remember, they lost by a whisker, 3%. Hmm. So, and it was a sealed bid. So if it was an auction, they would have the option to go higher. So incumbent knowledge last time showed them that the curve was trending upwards. Uday pounced on it and talked yes. to him that he, he saw it coming and he projected that the next five years uh, it would keep growing. And I, 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 I agree with uh, Sunny Bai and thank you Sunny Bai for your uh, very, very warm remarks. But I agree with him that the product will keep growing, its appeal will keep enhancing, they'll find ways to innovate, whether it's coverage or whether it's the product itself. And therefore, the consumer involvement in this will remain high. I'm not in, in, for in, 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 in any way saying that there is a mistake in uh, going gung-ho for the IPL rights. If I was still in the business, I would have participated too. I'm not. Hmm. But hmm. 
I'm just questioning the wisdom of the digital number, but it might be a strategic call, and strategic calls can be afforded by the giant organization. So hats off to them if they have a play which I don't see as yet. Unfortunately, completely out of time on the show, but I'd love to thank my uh, two guests who joined us with great insight in Sunny Gavaskar, Harish Tawani. But we'll continue the discussion tomorrow as well because, as I said, it's going to go into day three. The numbers are already fascinating. That's all the time that we have on our program. Thanks so much for watching.